Hey guys and welcome back to Super Hostile Online. Last time we did Grey Garrison, or Upper Grey Garrison rather. Uh, we finished the lower half in the uh, episode before that. And today we are at the Cavern of the Ancient Dragon. And why are we here? Are you wondering? We don't need to go to the dojo. And we also don't need to go to Red Sands. Well, it turns out that to reach the new landmass that the dungeon is on, um, there is actually a new air dock. I don't care about these skeletons because knockback resistance, they can't shoot me off of ladders, so we'll just, well, of course when you fall off ladders and they just kill themselves on me because I have a lot of thorns on my armor, or on my class hat rather, we're a rank 10 defender still. Um. What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought there. Um, we have to go through uh, through this area again, reach the other side of Eastern Commons, uh, because it is on... I'm doing all kinds of dumb stuff today. It is on this side of Eastern Commons that we will find the uh, air dock to the new landmass. It's kind of hard to talk when there's a lot of stuff trying to kill you. I don't know why this place is so infested. Nobody comes here. Normally, at least. And there's nobody else on the server right now. If I'm already playing this badly before even reaching the new area, oh god. Because <laughs> it is not an easy area. I mean, it's to be expected. We've done... Uh, let's see... We've done nine dungeons now, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, great. Lower upper great garrison was number nine, so we're heading in uh, for dungeon number ten right now. And to reach the air dock, we actually go over this way. If you go over that way, that's where the uh, the mountain dojo is. But over here is what leads to the new landmass. Let's eat again. And there is the air dock. Um, I imagine if you would have to take a trade pack over here, it would take you quite a while. Be pretty hard, maybe, but we haven't found an outpost in here yet. Uh, this area is only a day old, actually. Um, Vex, actually Vex released it only yesterday, so. Cyanide Tide Island. The new location, and oh god. I love this place. So, the arrow dock. Um, just look at just look at this area. Just wait for it to load. But a lot of crazy colors, and it looks really cool. It looks the I, I don't know the the color. Some of the colors are a little bit maybe too crazy in my opinion, but it definitely makes the area look really neat. There is a staircase here. The Finbane Staircase. <laughs> Aptly named, uh, I would imagine, after uh, Fenari, one of our mods. Um, and this staircase is the way to get down. Uh, unlike in Lushwood, well, there is actually a uh, slime block you can jump on, just like there is in Lushwood. It's down there. But it's only, it's only one block, so not going to risk that. I have... Boots with really good feather falling on them, but I'd rather not risk it. We got some kind of... What even are you? You a marksman skeleton? Seriously, what are you? Are you a marksman wither skeleton, maybe? Well, whatever you are, we're not messing with you. We're just gonna keep going down. Yeah, you are a marksman wither skeleton. This place gets kind of infested sometimes if you're not careful. So this is the island itself. Right now there's only one dungeon on it, but there are going to be two other dungeons uh, are, that are going to be added, I believe. Let's actually follow the shoreline here. What I really like about this area, am I? I'm wearing the safety boots. You can go down underwater and some of the places you'll see here um, are really cool. Uh, there's some really like deep ravines and all kinds of stuff, really, like underwater caves and such. Wait, is that a, what is that? 
Is that just a piece of colored sand? That is just a piece of colored sand. You tricked me. <laughs> I thought it was a chest. Like, there has to be something down there. I mean... There can be nothing. It's... That's just not how that works. <laughs> but yeah. I'm getting... I'm going a little bit off track here because... Well... There is actually an area that I want to go to. We're not going to the dungeon quite yet. Uh, Sinai Tide Island itself actually has something of its own to offer. That we don't need to visit the dungeon for. Uh, I forget if it's this way. Um, might be this way. I think it is actually. It's kind of crazy. With these boots we actually move faster in the water than we do on land. At night this area gets a little bit scary. Some pretty strong mobs spawn here just like in Lush Wood. And over here actually uh, is this look down there. Look how deep this is. And this is not even like the deepest place you can go. There is a place that's even deeper than this that I found yesterday. I kind of just went around the island and explored everywhere yesterday. Which was really fun. I get the feeling we're actually heading to the dungeon unintentionally. Yes, <laughs> this is actually where the dungeon is. Uh, this is not where I want to be yet. Um, I actually want to keep going, I think, over this way. And if we just keep following the shoreline, we'll eventually find the place I'm looking for. I'm checking my mini-map, but I'm not seeing it. Looks like this ravine actually, like if you look at the mini-map up there, you can see the ravine kind of goes through the lake here. Or I don't know if it's a if, if it's supposed to like be a lake because I mean it it kind of is a lake because the area is um surrounded by walls on the outside. I guess we'll just spend this episode exploring the area. <laughs> there is some really neat stuff you can see. There's another landmark here that I kind of would like to... Yeah, just look down there. Look how deep that is. <laughs> there is another landmark I want to visit. This area looks kind of purple. Um, which is what makes me think that the purple wool dungeon, which is one of the dungeons that's coming up, is going to be somewhere around here. But we still have not found the place that we are looking for so we'll just keep looking oh there it is this is gonna be a little bit tricky so let's see uh, what do I want do I want health or do I want a shield uh, how much does this give me quite a lot how much does that give me that gives me slightly more health but this also gives me armor so Probably still better to use this. I mean, the Sun Shield got nerfed pretty hard. Uh, before, it used to uh, boost your max health by 25%. It's only 10% now. Um, but it's still really dang good. Especially as, as a defender, you it still gives you more health than a, a health charm does. But the health charm is actually useful now because it gives you more health than the shield with most other classes. So we're heading for this area over here and the thing I wanted to do that I didn't do is I wanted to remove this and actually equip some uh, please tell me I actually brought a fresh pair of safety boots did I not am I this dumb I guess I must be I guess we'll wear this instead then I guess we just won't be fast huh could have sworn I brought a fresh pair of those safety boots, but well, if we're gonna do that, we might as well just keep wearing them. They're almost broken, sadly. I think I actually put the spare pair of safety boots that I had on me away because before I re started recording, I redid. Uh, I I went through lime. The I went through lime and picked up a fresh pair of boots, and with the intention of actually bringing them today, but ooh, I forgot to read the sign: Sharkfin Fortress. This is where we're going. Do I want a common boot? I shouldn't be standing here because I'm just spawning stuff. I just, I just 
made a. <laughs> I actually changed my mind. I want these these pants. The area seems to be mostly deserted right now, but some really st strong stuff spawns in here. So let's not waste too much time. Let's just keep going. I don't even care about that chest. I hear a wither skeleton already. Oh, that's because he's right there. Uh, you appear to be pretty fast. Yesterday, when we were all tackling this area, it was pretty dang crowded. But it doesn't seem to... Ooh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait, it, it hasn't respawned yet. Because if it had, it, there wouldn't be crappy stuff in here. I'll take these decor credits, though. And... Eh, I don't care about the uncommon sword. If I want an uncommon sword, I'll just grab a, a crappy katana from pink. What are you doing? You're just swinging at nothing. So y you do you. And oh god, I don't know what kind of creeper that was, but that didn't actually hurt too bad. Fast spider, you can get out of here. Let's stop lingering and just go up. So... There is a dojo up here. This is... It has been a very long time since we had an overworld dojo. The last one we got... Well, we got three of them. We got the uh, the ones in Eastern Commons. After that, all of the other dojos have been in... Um, uh, in dungeons. This is somebody's death pile. I shouldn't linger here for too long. Let's grab the stuff. This is the lurking Finbo. If you look at its stats, this is actually a kind of a better version of the uh, urban combat shortbow that we had. Uh, which is cool. Let's actually get out of here. Ow. I want to get out. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> The Lurking Fin Bow, really nice bow. It's like an, ur an Urban Combat Short Bow, but it actually does damage, unlike the um, Urban Combat Short Bow. It's something that a lot of us have, have been hoping for, for a while. Like a better bow that's like the Urban Combat Short Bow, and that it makes you move faster. But that also does damage, and this has uh, power 5, so it, it definitely does damage, and it also still has the punch and the knockback, so you can still like knock enemies off ledges. It still has the attack damage and the attack speed, although it is less than the combat short bow. The combat short bow does more melee damage than this thing does, but with a bow, I mostly just care about the range damage. I have the hone katana if I want to do, um, if I actually want to do um, normal damage or just melee damage. So. Um, I don't think I've been to this area yet. This also looks kind of cool. It's more of the uh, the ravine, like that sprawls like underneath all of this words. So um, I think we're gonna prepare for the next dungeon, uh, and we'll end this video off. And I'll meet you at the entrance because you've seen where it is. We went to it by accident, so. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. So, until then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.